guys and welcome to this video um in this video we're going to talk about line tangent to a curve and of course we're going to have their points of intersection in our uh, example here we're having a line uh which an equation y equal to 2x plus c and a curve which equation y equals to a minus 2x minus x squared uh, for our first question here, we want to, for the case where the lines is tangent to the curve, we want to find the value of the constant C here in this straight line in the equation of the line here. To shortly illustrate that, we can say that, I mean, that you can see here that when a line is tangent, tangent to a curve, it's something like this. It means that this is the line in yellow and the curve in white and there is going to be a point of intersection in between both here so we can put a point of intersection here that we can call p or something like that and that's why we have here points of intersection it can be one or two depends on how or where the line is meeting or intercepting the uh, the curve and of course in this case we're going to have the y of i mean to answer the first question we're going to have the y of the line equals to the y of the curve Okay, so that's we're gonna have y equals to y. This actually means that we're gonna have 2x minus c equals to a minus 2x minus x to the power of two. All right. So this means here that uh, we will add minus 2x here, pass everything, or we can pass everything on the on this side right here. So we're gonna add plus x squared on it we're going to have here x squared we arrange it also we can rearrange it in a decreasing order starting with the x squared and then we pass minus 2x to the other side and add it to 2x here it gives us 4x and then we have uh minus c and pass minus a pass pass it to the other side it means that subtracting it on it is going to give us here minus it and that's all equals to zero our quadratic equation now is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero with we can say put it here with a equals to one it's a coefficient of x squared the coefficient of x b is four and the coefficient of the last term or the last term is c or c minus eight here we can use the discriminant to solve this equation so the discriminant delta or d equals to b squared minus 4 a and c now we replace the discriminant here with its value b squared b here is 4 squared will be 16 minus 4 and a is 1 times c and c here is c minus 8 and together we're going to have 16 uh, minus 4c uh, plus 32 and of course the discriminant needs to be equals to zero okay that's what we're looking for the discriminant needs to be equals to zero then we will say that here a 4c i forgot a c here okay 32 here oh my god okay so um that we have in here zero equals to uh 48 okay minus 4c and then we can add we can subtract 48 on it minus 48 on this side and minus 48 on that other side and this is going to give us here 48 equals to 4 uh, minus 48 sorry equal to minus 4c minus 48 equal to minus 4c and of course we can divide by minus we can divide by minus four on both sides minus four and we will obtain c here equals 12 and this is the value of c in the condition we were given in the exercise right here okay now for the case where c equals 11 we want to find the x coordinates of the points of any section of the line and a curve so we're going to say here this is c equals 11 and we can take the solution of the discriminant we know that we can take them like b or x of course because we're looking for x 
you can say x1 that's the first solution of the discriminant because our discriminant here is different than zero and would have two solutions the first one will be minus b minus the square root of the discriminant divided by 2a and the second one x2 will be minus b plus the square root of the discriminant divided by 2a and all we're going to do here is just replacing this value i mean this value a in the solution and obtain uh, the x coordinate so x1 here is going to give us minus b we said that b was 4 here so we're going to have minus 4 minus the square root of the discriminant discriminant is what we got here is um uh, 48 minus 4c okay so we're gonna have 48 I mean square root of 48 minus 4 times c and c is 11 it means minus 44 that's all divided by 2 times 1 because a go equals 1 and this is equal to we have in minus 4 and here we have in minus 4 and the square root of 4 is we have in 48 minus 44 is 4 and the square root of 4 is 2 so we have in minus 2 over 2 and this equals minus 6 over 2 is minus 3 that's our first solution x minus x1 is minus 3 and for the second one we will have the same thing but this time with the plus so we don't need to do this whole process again we will say it is equal to minus uh, 4 plus 2 over plus 2 over 2 and this is going to be minus 1 and x2 here equals minus 1 so we can say the x coordinate are either minus 3 or minus 1 or we can write like this um, x equals minus 3 or x equals minus 1 now we also want to you know, by integration to find the area of the region between the line and the curve and the equation of um, the area of this area between the line and it it's uh, y equals to what we got here before this is here so we replace the c here uh, by 11 this is going to give us here x squared plus 4x plus 3 and this is what we're going to integrate in the interval of minus 3 to minus 1 so what we say the integration minus 1 here minus 3 uh, of this equation here x squared plus 4x plus 3 dx that's what we're going to integrate and of course we're going to use integration by part here and this is going to give us the first one x squared when we integrate it it gives us one third of x to the power 3 and plus we plus 4 first of all and then we integrate uh, x is 1 half x to the power of 2 and then plus 3x plus 3x and of course plus the constant of integration plus 3x and of course plus the constant of integration c and in the bother i mean in the interval of minus three to minus one so now we apply first minus three in the whole equation here in the whole integration here we're going to have minus three here uh to the power of three is minus 27 divided by three is minus nine plus four and we can we can you know cut we can divide by two here it remains two that's what we're going to do divide by 2 here divide by 2 there we still have 2 and um, minus 3 we will have times 2 minus uh, plus 2 times 9 and minus also minus 3 times 3 here minus 9 
minus now the second part minus one that will be here minus one third uh, plus two because we have it here minus one squared is one times two is two and minus one times three will be minus three and this is giving us here we can see we have here nine here minus nine and minus nine can cancel out uh, our together with uh, this one here because they have in minus 18 plus 18 is zero and forgot to put C here we need C excuse me plus C okay plus C here the constant of integration then we have in um, here that will be uh, minus one plus six minus nine and this is equal to uh, minus three minus one minus minus four third and minus four okay we have a minus minus four third plus c this is equal to four third plus c we can also write it as the mixed number that will be one and one third plus c and this is here um equals to a let me call it a the area of the region between the line and the curve so again in this video we had uh an equation the equation of a line and the equation of a curve and we were said that the line is tangent to the curve and we had to find the constant c in the line in the equation of the line so we proceed by doing that if the two equations are tangent it means that they are equal so y equals to equal they are touching somewhere they're having a point of intersection so we working out uh we worked out the two equation let me put uh, y equals to y and have this equation x squared plus 4x plus c minus 8 equals to zero and here because our equation here was in the form of the uh, quadratic equation normal quadratic or regular quadratic equation with a b and c this is what we have here we use the discriminant discriminant which is supposed to be equal to zero to solve this equation and have the value of c equal to 12. then um we were given uh the case where y where c equals 11 and we had to find the x coordinate of the points of intersection of the line and the curve. So we, we just use this solution of the discriminant because our discriminant here, or this value here, this is our discriminant, was uh, different to zero or is different to zero. We use its two solution in this case, x1 and x2 there, minus b minus the square root of the discriminant divided by 2a or here minus b plus the square root of the discriminant divided by 2 by 2 a but a is 1 and then we had these two value x1 equals to minus 3 or x2 equals to minus 1 and those are the value or um, the x coordinate of the point of intersection between the line and the curve and finally we were supposed to you know to integrate uh, by integration of course to find the area of the region between the line and the curve and because both are touching are intercepting the, the simple equation of both uh, the curve and the and the line is this equation here and we just replace c by the value 11 and that gives us x to square plus 4x plus 11 plus 3 pardon 11 minus 8 plus 3 and this is what we have to integrate in an interval of minus 3 to minus 1 to find the value or to find the area of the region between the line and the curve. And we proceed by part here for this integration and apply it the value minus 3 and minus 1, which are the limits of our area or the, uh, the border of our region in our integral to find um, 4 third plus C which is as mixed number one times one third plus c and this is the area we were looking for so thank you for watching again guys until next time bye bye